Hi. What I've got here is I've got some 1x4 PVC board. Um, it has a design on this side. On the other side, it's smooth. Uh, what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to um, tie them on the bottom of my shoes so my shoes never wear out. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to mount them. Uh, on my snowblower here. As you can see, I have a uh, gravel driveway and uh, you know what these are going to do is it's going to, uh, excuse me, it's going to lift the snowblower up some and uh, I'm not going to mind about a one inch clearance here because that way I won't pick up any of the gravel. So uh, this is not my normal snowblower. My normal one broke down, so I'm going to buy a, a new two-stage snowblower maybe next winter. Uh, so um, this one was at a rental property I had. It's a snapper 17-inch. Um, so, you know, putting these on here like this, uh, maybe more towards the outside a little bit, um, I don't see that that's going to be a problem. They're going to uh, probably slide pretty good on, on, on the stones. Um, plus, I'll wax this part over here to make it more slippery if that's going to help or not. But uh, what I did is I cut two pieces of PVC board, and then I heated each end here with a heat gun uh, and just bended it down over this table. I put a clamp here and then uh, bended it over and this is caused by the uh, heat gun burning it at some. But when I got done I took it to the grinder and made kind of a mess but I could always clean that up. And I ground, ground uh, the front edge down just to, and, and some of the sides a little bit on this one. I'll have to do the other one that way it doesn't really dig so much and catch stones. Uh, this way, you know, it'll be more, they should fall away better. So all I got to do basically is clamp it down to the snowblower with some kind of L bracket there and I should be good to go. So uh, I'll continue the video and we'll see what, what's next. Okay, I have... Uh, I have it kind of lined up here. Um, I haven't put any screws or anything yet. Uh, what I what I'm going to use are these bolts right here that are flathead bolts, and I'm going to stick them through the inside of this, and that way they don't they're not rubbing on anything. You know that can cause a cause a problem there. Here's the other side. Um, the other side had this uh, plastic cover on it, and it went something like this. But these uh, things are thin enough where I can get this cover on, uh, and um, it's not going to interfere, uh, you know, with me screwing the cover down. So on this other side. I've got the big metal belt cover here, so I'm by using those flathead bolts, they're not going to get in the way of the pulley that's in there. So, uh, being that this is higher, I needed something to grab onto, so I got a little bit of different brackets here I'm using. Uh, I'm just going to cut these ends off with the grinder no sense leaving them there but I'm going to screw down this screw the brackets to the skid first and then I'll mark holes to where I should drill it into the uh, into the snowblower there okay so it's all finished here um, I mean it's the craziest looking thing here but uh, I gave it a try. I took it in the driveway where all the stones are 
and uh, it pushes a lot easier. Um, I mean, I wasn't even going to attempt to use this snow blower in a gravel driveway. Um, it's just, I mean, no snow blower is made for a gravel driveway. I mean, you have to do something to get either raise the uh, shave plate up, uh, do something to, so you don't pick up the stones, or you're going to throw them all in your yard. Uh, but this worked out really well. Um, I even, well, there's no snow right now, but I went up and down the driveway with it, and I turned the uh, auger on, and I didn't pick up one stone. So, uh, uh, that cover fit back on on this side. Uh, that was no problem. And uh, the other side, I mean, you know, those bolts are sticking out, but that isn't too bad. Uh, I also did another crazy thing. The, these, they make these things too short. I couldn't, you know, move this part of the handle up because uh, it's welded here. There's, you can see a piece of weld. Um, I don't even know why I got this clamp there. It doesn't even need it with that weld there. But what I did is I took some handles off an old snowblower and <laughs> I made it, uh, you know, a little taller because I, I, that was too low. I mean, it was hitting my, my, uh, uh, <laughs> private area. So, uh, now I'm, you know, I got it up a little bit higher and, uh, it's easy to move, and uh, that is a bunch of stones there. And th actually, this isn't that good because it's it's a uh, it's a concrete driveway. But if I put it out on the stones, see that? Slides really good. All right, thanks for watching.